Okay, hey, this is BR Tidwell 55 here, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a way that you could uh, possibly rescue an older machine, an almost ancient machine with very low specifications using a distribution of Linux called Damn Small Linux. Uh, basically, as uh, chatting on, uh, uh, I was chatting last night with a uh, with a friend of mine. Uh, who's also a YouTube user owns a uh, small uh, or uh, runs his own uh, computer service outfit customer brought him an older machine that used to run Windows 95 he's trying to figure out a way to breathe new life into it I recommended he try damn small Linux but admittedly I have not played with this particular distro myself so I kinda spent today teaching myself how a way to get uh, damn small Linux running on a machine with low specifications uh, so what I did was I, I used the Sun Virtual Box, and this is not a tutorial on how. Uh, this is assuming you know how to set up a Virtual Box. Uh, but basically, I created a machine that only had 64 megs of RAM, uh, 8 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, only problem with this little experiment is it's using the native processor on my machine, which is a uh, which is a 2 2 gigahertz Pentium dual core. So. I don't know how to emulate a lower specification processor like a Pentium MMX, something that uh, that uh, that uh, state, so uh, that vintage. Uh, but if anyone knows how to do that, please let me know. Uh, but anyway, so I created this machine. I downloaded the latest and greatest damn small Linux ISO and boot floppy image from uh, their website. Inside the virtual machine I disabled booting from the CD-ROM because I know a lot of older machines the BIOS won't allow you to boot from a CD-ROM even if you have a bootable CD-ROM. So that being said that's what I did. I've got the image, I've got the ISO loaded in the virtual drives so now I'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy up. It's going to boot from the boot image floppy. <clears throat> All right. This is the boot image floppy. Even though it says Biscard CD, trust me, this is from the boot floppy. And here at the boot menu, what you're going to do is you're going to type from, uh, uh, you're going to type, excuse me, DSL and then from CD hit enter. What that's going to do, even though I've disabled booting from the CD-ROM, that's telling it to go ahead and boot from, that's telling the system to go ahead and boot from the CD-ROM. It's kind of taking over from the BIOS at this point. And what this is going to do, this is going to boot me into a full graphical environment. And even though we're in a full graphical environment, because this is damn small Linux, because it is a minimalist distribution, you don't have all the graphical tools that you would say, that you would have from say, a full-blown Opix or a full-blown uh, live uh, Ubuntu CD. So now, what I've got to do is I've got to I've got to prepare my hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into a terminal. I'm going to type sudo fdisk. All right. Now sudo fdisk, and I got to tell it which disk. Dev. It's going to be H. HDA. All right. So now, if you're unfamiliar with FDisk, and using while like me, you got you type M for menu, and this will give you your options. What I want to do is I want to create a pro I want to create a primary partition. So the option to create a, par a primary partition is uh. Let's see here. In, I'll type in. It's going to be primary partition. Label it number one. Start it on the first cylinder. And because I need to leave room for a swap partition, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this at say 1040. Doesn't have to be very big. All right. So now I've got the first partition built. Now I'm going to go ahead and build my second one. So I'll hit new. It'll be a primary. Make it number two. 
started at 10.41, it'll end at 10.44. All right. So now I'll go ahead and pee and take a look at my partitions. Okay. And now I want to go ahead and write a partition table. It's writing the partition table now. So now I've got a partitioned hard drive. So what I'm going to do it. I'm just going to try something here. I haven't tried this before. See if I can go ahead and format that first partition. Okay, so format isn't found, but that's okay. There is an installer built into this. It's under Apps, Tools, uh, Install Hard Drive. I want to install it to HDA1. Hit Yes. I'll hit No because this is an older system. It won't handle the XT3. Uh, hit yes again okay now it's formatting that first partition now it's copying the file system from the CD over to uh, my new partition <clears throat> sorry this takes a little bit while it's in that, I'll show you some of the uh, apps you have. Basically, you got your your standard uh, text editors. It's got a version of Paint for graphics. It's got a spreadsheet. It's got a uh, it's got a word viewer. It's got word processing. Okay, now it's asking me to install Bootloader. want to use grub it's going to set that up let's hit Y and it's rebooting okay so now what I'm going to do is um, ejecting my virtual floppy and my virtual CD it's rebooting now and here we go this may take a minute Okay, it's gonna it's gonna ask me for some new passwords, separate root password, all that. Default users DSL. And here we go. Now I've got a running graphical Linux system on a machine with very low uh, specifications as far as the memory goes. Like I said, if somebody can tell me how to emulate a Pentium MMX on, on VirtualBox, I'd be more than happy to listen. This is BR Tidwell 55, and thanks for watching.